What's going on everybody, my name is Rico, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my channel is about vlogs, series and tutorials. And in this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to transform a photo from summer to fall. And this is the image that we're going to work with. I'm going to show you guys how to turn this image into this image. So the right side is the original and the left side is the edited version. So we're basically going to change summer into the fall. Uh, I'm going to keep the base curve as is. I'm going to deselect the snapshot. I'm going to close this down. Reason why is because this will allow me to work with a uh, semi-processed image. It's a little bit faster for me. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to keep it as is because the goal of this tutorial is to show you guys how to change the colors. The first thing that we're going to do is I've put all the modules that we're going to use in this tutorial in my favorites menu, which is the RGB curve, the contrast brightness, saturation, color zones, local contrast, color lookup table, orientation, the mosaic, chromatic aberrations and the white balance. I'm not going to change the white balance, I'm going to keep it as is, but it's very handy if you want to change the warmth or feeling of an image. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to eradicate some of the chromatic aberrations in this image. Chromatic aberrations for those of you that don't know are like different colors on the edges of pixels so there's not a lot over here there's maybe a little bit of magenta over here so I'm going to open it up and I'm just going to activate it and now it has changed the image a little bit now let me zoom out to fit the screen and there you have it so after this what I want to do is I want to denoise the image a little bit but I want to sharpen it as well and for that I'm going to use the equalizer module which is over here I'm going to click it open and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a preset because the equalizer allows you to use presets it's got different presets if you click on this symbol right here you can choose bloom clarity let me see what happens if I pick clarity there you go it's very contrasty like i don't like how this looks so i'm going to reset it by hitting this button reset parameter and for this i am going to use denoise and sharpen instead of denoise and then a new instance and then sharpen so denoise and sharpen simultaneously now the image has been sharpened a little bit i think this looks a little bit too strong so you can change that if you like by going to this right here Click the right mouse button, fill in 0.5 and it will apply half the strength of this equalizer module. Now let me show you guys a before and after by clicking this little symbol right here. So now what you see is the equalizer being applied and if we deselect it, this is the image without the equalizer applied. It's a little bit more soft so let me activate it again and let's move on to the next one. The next one is one of the most strongest modules if you ask me when it comes down to color. You've got two which is color lookup table and which is color zones. I'm going to open up the color lookup table and I want to attack the greens in this image. There's two ways to do this. I can just click this and then change the colors accordingly. I can change this color and change the colors accordingly. But my most favorite thing to do is to use the color picker. And while using this color picker, as you can see, this is just a little spot. So I'm going to change it to area. And now it's getting an entire area. I'm going to smallen the area a little bit. I'm going to make it less big. And now what I want to do is I want to hit shift and I want to click this little spot right here because this is a spot that's left. And as you can see, the green is a little bit more dark. And watch what happens if I drag this slider to the right, to the red side. Boom, instantly all the pixels that have this color turn more red. Now, as you can see, it doesn't affect the entire image completely. So for that, I'm just going to move like this. So we've got a new color. And let's see what happens if I just use the standard one, put it on red. There you go. That's a little bit more better. Now let's use this green one as well. Let's apply some more red to the image. Let's apply a little bit more. There you go. Now, I think that looks fine. Maybe this one's a little bit too strong. So I'm going to use a little bit less, let's say 30. And that's a little bit more better. It looks a bit ochre like, but we're going to uh, enhance this in a minute. So let's just keep it as is. And let's just close down this module. 
So now what I want to do is I've changed the basics. So I'm going to open up the color zones module. And I'm going to change the hue. So now I'm going to use the color picker again. Just to see where the colors are in this image. Now as you can see they are over here. So I'm going to make a point over here. I'm going to make a point over here. I'm just going to drag this down in the red a little bit. And watch what happens to the image. Boom. It becomes even more red. Now it really starts to look like fall. Let's see where these colors are. They're over here as well. Let me drag them down just a little bit more. There we go. Now it's a little bit more dark. And let's increase the saturation of this point as well. So I'm going to place a point over here. Place a point over here. I'm just going to drag this up to increase the saturation. Those are the two modules that you can use to change the color. Uh, I think this looks great as a starting point. So I'm going to continue to edit this picture. For that, I'm going to close down the color zones module and I'm going to activate the contrast, brightness and saturation. I'm going to click it open, activate it. And what I want to do is I want to add some saturation and I want to add some contrast and I think I want to decrease some brightness. So if you increase the contrast by 0.10, my suggestion is to decrease the brightness by minus 0.10. Reason being is because both of them are kind of standing towards <laughs> each other. So if you increase the contrast, you should decrease the brightness. And if you increase the brightness, you should decrease the contrast. I think this looks a little bit too strong when it comes down to the brightness. I'm going to change this to minus 0.05. That looks a lot better. And let's just change the contrast to uh, 0.05 as well. There you go. Now it's less dark. And now the blacks are being less crushed as you can see. If you click this symbol right here. Everything that's blue is being crushed. That's the blacks. And everything that's red is overexposed. That has to do with the fact that this day. It was a very bright day. There was clouds all over the place. And it was extremely white in the air. I'm going to keep this as is right now. I'm going to close it down. And now I'm going to move on to the next one. Which is the RGB curve module. If you don't have this module. What you can do is you can search. Or basically you can go to more modules. And then find the base curve. Open the base curve. And now as you can see the base curve is already being applied. This has to do with the fact that we started out with an image that had the base curve applied. But what you can do is you can go to uniformly. And then blend mode choose RGB green. That's the one we're going to use right now. See it changed the picture. So let me undo that by hitting Ctrl Z. But that's what you can use instead of the RGB curve module. So I'm going to open up the RGB curve. I'm going to activate it. But instead of RGB linked channels. I want to place it on independent channels. Reason being is because that way I can attack the red, greens and blue channels individually. And that's what I want to do. So I'm going to the green channel and if you pull this up you will see that you add green into the image if you pull it down you will extract green and you will introduce magenta i want to introduce a little bit more magenta to make the tree pop a little bit more and i think this looks pretty fine let me decrease it just a little bit more there you go there's a huge difference between the before and after let me show you guys by deactivating it so this is without the green channel being changed. And now let me activate it. And this is with the green channel being changed. And there's one more thing I want to do. Which is the local contrast module. So let me open it up. And let me uh, activate it. And let me change the worth from 120 to 150. To make the image pop some more. And I think this looks pretty fine. Let me show you guys a before and after. So we're going to snapshots. Take a snapshot. Let's uh, click this one. Let's click the base curve one. Because that's what we started out with. And now as you can see the right side is the original side. And now on the left side is the edited version. And here are the fall colors. Now let's see how that compares to the one that I've changed. Oh, I see I used a little bit more red and orange in this one. Rather than this one. But both are fine if you ask me. I think this looks pretty great. Right side original one more time. And now on the left side, we have the changed version. And now we went from summer to fall. 
And that's it. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. And I guess there's just one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Hit that bell button to be the first to be notified when I drop in a video. And until next time, doei!